right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I will find a judge tonight to issue an immediate restraining order. I'll get it to Meg in the morning. Thank you, Margo. I'm sorry, it's coming to this. Bell's posted. Good. 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 Goodbye. Good riddance. Go. You violate that restraining order, you'll be back here so fast your head will spin. Thank you for bringing it to me so I could make bail. Sophie. Squirt me all the way home, especially on a sprained ankle. It only hurts when I'm kicking butt. Besides, he deserved it. Yes, he did. Are you all right? Sure, I'm fine. Well, don't count on it staying that way. You know, I've, I've been down that road before. You think it's getting better, but then when you're alone, it hits you hard. So, uh, any tips for the walking wounded? Well, trying to tough it out only hurts more. You know, I was afraid you'd say that. Didn't expect to see you here, Sophie. I need to know if you meant what you said. Do you really think being with me was a mistake? Sophie, what happened with us was a mistake. You were being a friend to me, and I, and I, I took advantage of that. No, I didn't feel taken advantage of. <sighs> Look, you're very, very sweet, but you don't need to cut me any slack on this one. Paul, Paul, I kissed you because I wanted to. And if we decided to take that farther, then, then why is that wrong? Because it's wrong. No. You're seeing the downside to everything right now because you're hurt. And why wouldn't you be? You lost Meg, and she's not coming back. At least you got that part right. There's no reason why something good can't come out of today. And, and if you'd be honest with yourself, you would see that the answer to all your problems is standing here right in front of you. Oh, I'm sorry, I think I sucked your shirt. Oh, no, hey, my shoulder's always open. <laughs> Thank you. It's hard, you know. All those times I told Paul it was over, I think I was just holding out hope. Huh? I know now I was only fooling myself. Well, the trick is not to get fooled again. And I'll handle all the details of the development so you don't have to have any face time with Paul. You know, you really shouldn't have to be put in that position. I, I mean, I hate feeling like the helpless female needing protection. No, no, that is not who you are. Besides, we all need help every once in a while. Don't worry, you know, this won't last forever, this feeling. You'll move on. And so will Paul. Yeah, he already has. Don't love you, Sophie. I know. I know you love Meg. Or you think you do. But you'll get over her. And, and in the meantime, I can love you enough for the both of us. I accept who you are. I love who you are, and I would do anything for you, Paul. Anything. <laughs> 